My name is Steven Strapp. I work in the Department of Athletic Training and Sports Medicine. One of the primary things that we work on is injury prevention. Not just injury prevention for athletes, injury prevention for people overall. So today, my three minutes is all about protect your head. Did it go anywhere? Many of you, I'm sure, have heard about concussions. Lots of things going on with concussions. The things they need for you to remember in 15 seconds. A concussion is not getting your bell rung. It's not waiting for cobwebs to clear. It's a neurological injury to your brain. It may leave you with long-term damage, and it takes time to heal. And look at our last point there. It may be preventable. On many levels, it may be preventable. <clears throat> Things you need to know as we think about this. Number one, ice is hard. If you don't believe me, look at this gentleman. World-class figure skater in the process of cracking his crawler on the ice. So you take this little kid. If Mr. World-class figure skater is going to crack his head, what's little Mr. I'm just learning to skate and play hockey going to do? This picture, two or three of them have it right. That third little kid, I don't know what he's doing there. <laughs> okay, next point. Bicycles move fast. <laughs> I'm not sure how that's going to turn out. He looks like he's got three girls watching him. That may work out for him. I don't know if it's going to work out. We'll cross our fingers for him. This guy, this is not going to work out well. Okay, you, you can see this one coming, so sorry, mister. At least this guy had the good sense he's wearing his helmet, although he is on the bottom of the stack there. Unfortunately, sometimes even the helmet isn't enough. you got to watch what you're doing. Now, in addition to bicycles moving fast, motorcycles move faster. This guy's on his little mini bike. He's tooling along at 10 miles an hour. He still managed to fall. The only good thing for him is he fell into some soft leaves and stuff. He looks like he's going to make out okay. This guy was not a proponent of helmets until after his accident. He now thinks helmets are wonderful. Lucky for this guy, he thought helmets were wonderful before his accident. So, motorcycles move even faster. <clears throat> Many of you may know the actress Natasha Richardson. She was in the parent trap. You may have seen her at some point. She was not wearing a helmet when she fell while taking beginner ski lessons up in Quebec. The New York City Medical Examiner's Office said she died of a blunt impact to her head. She actually got up and walked off the slope and died later on. One of the newspaper clippings after that said, Quebec mull ski helmet law after Richardson death. They didn't really mull too long though. Michael Schumacher world-famous Formula One race car driver, suffered a serious head injury back at the end of December. He fell and hit the side of his head on a rock while he was up in the Alps. Experts have said it's likely to be months before his prognosis becomes clear. They are just in the process now of bringing him out of his medically induced coma. No idea how he's going to turn out. He actually was wearing a helmet. So that's probably the difference between where he is now and where he could potentially be. Okay, now, how do I do, you're gonna give me a hand with this? Okay, no video, sorry, it's gone. Who watched the, snowboard, the snowboarding in the Olympics? Do you know what I'm trying to play here? Oh yeah. What's this girl's name? Uh, Sarka. Sarka. I forget it, I can't pronounce it. Sarka something really cool I can't pronounce. What did she do? She went off uh, the jump of the slope style qualifier, and when she came down, she cracked her helmet right in half. Watch this video clip. Find it on YouTube. I can't spell it, so I can't find it. Watch this video clip when you go through. You can't believe how high she is in the air as she comes down. And after the jump, that's what her helmet looks like. But you know what? She got up and she walked away. And if you can see the height she comes down for, it's phenomenal. A little scary because they didn't give her a say she had a concussion. She had to, but that's what she did to her helmet after. 
Powder Ridge up in Middlefield now mandates helmets for all skiers, for all guests. In 2013, became the first ski area in the nation to require all skiers and snowboarders to wear helmets regardless of age. Back in 2006, Italy said all children. 2009, Austria said all children. Even in New Jersey, 2011, anybody under 18. 2012, Nova Scotia went ahead and said all people. United States can't get that right yet. CDC estimates 1.7 million traumatic brain injuries per year. 2,000 deaths, 275,000 hospitalizations in a year, 1.4 million emergency department visits. What's my message? Protect your head. You only get one. 